This is Fashion Lounge, the show that speaks your language, keeping you in the know with the latest collections, putting you at the heart of the runway and sharing just with you the latest insights from some of the best designers around the world. We have with us right here in the studio, Indian designer Kartike. Hello and welcome to our studio. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Thank you. So, the show and the latest collection that you have, it had a little bit of a Shakespearean theme to it, didn't it? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Actually, the collection is actually inspired from, from two different characters. So one is Shakespeare and the other one is Madonna. Okay. My, I've always been impressed by theater, art, cinema. Whenever you see, like, whenever you see my designs, it's always inspired from theater, architecture, cinema, movies, all these things. So I was thinking about taking two characters, a character as strong like Madonna, and imagine Madonna in Shakespearean time. Ooh. So you have an old worldly feeling, like a very Victorian, old worldly charm, creating a very surreal story. And at the same time, you have the fierceness, the boldness, and the sexiness of Madonna. Yes. So that was the idea of creating this character. How does the uh, past fashion, along with the present fashion, relate? How do you see them merging? I think. When, when we talk about fashion, like most of the things being done, everything's been done, all the kind of clothing's been done, right? And I'm very much inspired by theater, and I'm very much inspired by mythology and history. So my idea is whenever I'm designing clothing, right, I want to contemporize the trends of the past centuries. You know, those were the old trends, you know, something that you have saw, you saw like in 1500s and 1400s. I want to contemporize it, want to make it modern, and want to present it to the young society nowadays to make it more fashionable. That's what my plan is. industry in India evolving and relating to the international industry? I actually feel very uh, sort of lucky to be from India. The people always uh, look towards West, especially places like France, Italy, these other places that, uh, you know, and they always relate designers from there. But when I come to think uh, about it today, I think I'm actually blessed and lucky to come from India because in India we have different cultures, you know, so many different cultures. And we have an access to so many different kind of craft, mm -hmm. right? Having so many access to so many different kind of craft, it makes it much more easier to produce them. You know, to create something truly astonishing. There's an appetite of, for trying. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, when you see our embroideries and everything, it is world class. Yes. Because in India, in terms of skilled craftsmanship, we are the best people. Absolutely. Indians, like, and not not just my brand or my label. There's so many, so many talented young Indian designers who will be ruling the world in the coming years and I can give it, I can tell you right now because there's so much of talent which is coming from there which will take the center stage in the coming years. Is there any specific item or piece from the past that you think will be making a comeback? A lot of things. If you see my, my collection, what I showcased here, I'd actually try to romanticize an armor. Yes. It's, you know, if you see the last garment, it's exactly like a shield. It like was a an fantastic, armor. Fabulous. But it's been made with French knots, with bugle beads, and everything to make it very fairy tale romantic. But at the same time, it's an armor. And that's how I work. That's how I like to design. Yes. Is there any specific design that you particularly love from all your pieces? One that is very close to your heart? I like quite a few, to be honest. But from this collection, there's a short green dress, which took a ridiculous amount of time to make. But at the same time, the entire motive has been taken by a cathedral, you know, a pillar in a cathedral. And we have created that whole pillar into a dress. So that is my favorite one. It's very contemporary and modern at the same time. It is. Talking it's very about sexy. It is, it is, absolutely. 
Speaking of modern yeah. and with technology, how do you feel technology could be helping you in achieving your vision? Artificial intelligence systems. I know, but uh, to be honest, yeah. I'm a very technically challenged guy. Okay. And I want to stay away from technology. I'm more old school. I'm not the kind of person who look into computers and things like that. I'm still more into books, still more into traveling. I think traveling inspired me more than anything. Yes. You know, so I've gone to different kind of places. And that is something, you know, whenever I go, I travel, I click photos and everything, I learn. And that is something which creates an impression in my head. More than sitting in front of the computer and thinking about all these things. I am a little away from technology. You can say I'm a little old school in that sense. You know, this would be something that differentiates you and makes you quite unique. What else do you think is something that makes you stand out from everyone else? My craft. My craft, for sure. I, I, I won't say I do too many things, but I do limited things. But the things that I do, I think it is of the highest quality which is comparable to anything in the world. Right. And the most important thing is the kind of outlook that I want to create for every designer. So if I see every designer, the designers that I look up to, they have managed to create an outlook. They have managed to create a soul in the product. Yeah. So if you see my entire collection, you see shorts, jackets, you see long gowns, you see short dresses, you see embellished armors, you see feminine romantic, you know, cape dresses, everything. But you see the same soul. Yes. And when you see top designers across the world, when you see Valentino, or you see Alexander McQueen, or you see Yamamoto, whatever they create, you see a soul. And that is something that I try to work on. That is definitely something that you, it's distinguishable in you. Yeah. Do you see yourself establishing anything in Dubai, potentially for the Arab world? I would love to, I would love to. For the kind of, uh, I have seen the love for fashion, especially in the women, and they're beautiful. Thank the most you. Of them, they're gorgeous, <laughs> everyone. I'm taking that as a compliment to myself. Yeah, so they're beautiful women, and they love to dress up. Yes. They love to dress up. So my idea is, if I create something, the girls should look beautiful, irrespective. I'm not a very high techno, avant-garde designer, something creating, you know. Not that kind of a design, but I would love, like if someone wears my clothing, they should look feminine, they should look romantic, they should look sexy, they should look like a woman. That is the most very important Very easy on the eye, isn't yeah. it? They should right? Look that you would give to all the designers who love you, upcoming designers who follow your path, something that could make their life maybe a little bit it's easier. It's very important for any designer to be original and to find the soul in whatever they're designing. Sometimes I feel designers very scattered in their work. They want to do this, they want to do that, they want to do... So sometimes it's good to restrict yourself, understand who you are and from where, you know, from your subconscious builds everything. Mm. You know, think about those things which always, that you're inclined towards, something that always inspires you, the stories which always inspires you. Sometimes it's good to restrict yourself in creating in those limited boundaries. Because when you restrict yourself, you end up creating better things. Right, so don't be scattered, just be original and be honest with your work, what you do. If you're honest with your work, the world will see it at one point of time. It's probably being as real as you possibly can, yeah, being just, true to yourself. <coughs> just be honest to yourself when you're, when you're creating, when you're designing. That is something which is extremely important. We don't have to look towards here, there, it's fine. It's, it's important to learn from people. It's good. But never lose the soul. Create a soul for the brand, which is something which will take any designer forward. Absolutely, I agree with that. Is there any celebrity that you would like to dress? Of course. Who? Monica Bellucci. There we go. She's my dream. All right, She's and when do you think that's going to happen? It's going to happen soon. I need to get in touch with the celebrity stylist. She's, I like, she's my muse forever. She's the most gorgeous lady on earth. Oh, that's so how I you love, hear. Yeah, I love Monica <laughs> Bellucci, Rihanna, Madonna, Jennifer Lopez, but Monica Bellucci is surreal. She's... I have no doubt that that's going to happen very soon. Honestly, the crossed. clothes that you have, they're so appealing, they're so beautiful, they're gorgeous. Any woman would be very excited to be trying them on. Thank you, that'll be absolutely what wonderful. What are your plans? What do you have next? What quite, can we expect from you? There are quite a few things coming up. So apart from, from this, I've, I've, been doing, I've been showcasing in different parts of the world, trying to explore different markets. So in August, I was in South Africa. I did a little show in Durban. 
Then before that, I went to Trinidad and Tobago to showcase my cruise line. Right, I keep doing my events in England. So all these things, you know, South Africa, Caribbean islands, England, I'm planning to, uh, to go to Rome and try my hand in New York. And that's what is next. London, New York and Rome. So coming up with different kind of collection because I have started a new line also, mm -hmm. which is my ready to wear line. So which is slightly more price effective. Like this is very couture. Yes. But that line yes. has been created for the bridge segment. You know, something which can, which is more price effective, yet at the same time carries the aesthetic of the same brand. Right. So that is something which I can see a bigger circulation for that kind of product. It can appeal potentially yeah. to a bigger... Um... Yes. And plus we are coming up with number of shops in India. Yes. And then trying to expand internationally. Hopefully you'll see a store next year in London. Who's your favorite designer? My only inspiration, to be honest, is Alexander McQueen. I love him. Later, Sir, late Alexander McQueen. I completely adore his work. And I think the only thing which, which made me, you know, sort of inspired to come into fashion, to take, choose fashion as my career yeah. and be professional is Alexander McQueen. I always wanted to be a filmmaker and I'll be a filmmaker at one point of time. But after Have seeing his work, I've worked on a couple of films, I've done styling and everything, but I want to make my own films. But that's the agenda, that'll happen a few years down the line. I'm not saying now because I want to take the brand from here to here. At the moment, it's the biggest priority. But Alexander McQueen, Alexander McQueen is someone that I always looked up to in terms of fashion because he taught me that fashion can be entertaining. Fashion can be a form of storytelling, which is absolutely phenomenal. That He was an absolute genius. There's, there's no one who has inspired me more than Alexander McQueen. This is something that I did notice. I feel like everything and the work that you do is more about storytelling. Yeah. It's more about making making someone go through a journey from the very beginning to the very end. Yeah, it is about storytelling. It is about It's a beautiful it's picture a, that you're drawing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it is a canvas for me. Like every artist, if you see like a filmmaker, he's got a 30mm screen to paint that. That's his canvas, right? When you see a painter, he's got a canvas. For designers like us, we just have a fabric to paint. And our clothing, our designs, these are our paintings that we do. So that's how we like to tell our stories. Social media nowadays has become quite central, yeah. right? How do you use social media to your advantage? It's actually very important. It is actually very important. Social media is huge. And what the best thing about social media, what social media has done, social media has made designers more independent rather than depending upon the media houses to write about them, yes. right? And plus, it gives a much bigger global platform to all the designers. Mm -hmm. So if in India, if I'm putting any of my story or any of my post, anyone from New Zealand, from South Africa, from the Caribbean islands, from South America, from Middle East, from Turkey, Lebanon, anywhere, the world can see it. It's you know, fascinating. So, yeah, so it has created a, the entire universe as your audience, which is absolutely phenomenal. And that has made the designer more independent. You know, so you can create your own campaigns. You don't have to look towards the media to print about it, to write about you. So that is absolutely, it kind it's of, more empowering, to be honest, much more empowering. It ends up speaking for itself. It's like, you know, a photo speaking a million words for yeah, you, absolutely, right? Absolutely. How about I take a selfie with you? Because we love social media too, right? And I have right here with me an incredible phone. It's basically uh, the Meta Pro 10. Wow. And I would love to take a selfie with you if that's okay. Yeah, yeah? exactly. There you go. And this is going to speak a thousand words for us. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with someone as brilliant and as creative as you, really. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here on this wonderful, wonderful program. I hope Along we with you, you've been an absolutely amazing host. Thank you very and much. Thank you so much for calling me. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.
is Fashion Lounge, where the love of fashion knows no limits at all. I have right here with me on set the one and only Tamam Humarif, international designer. Hello, Tamam. How hello. are you? Hi, hello. Hello. Okay. It's nice to have you and model and translator Jamila. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. Thank you. So your collection is absolutely beautiful, and I understand that it's inspired by the illusion of magic. Yes, Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Скажи немножко о своей, о своей коллекции. Коллекция создавалась 6 месяцев. Она очень много работ себя вобрала, как и морально, так и физического труда. То есть она далась очень тяжело, так я была в положении. И этот, это, этот, грубо говоря, это был такой же ребенок, который, грубо говоря, тоже родила. То есть, грубо говоря, это, все эти идеи, вся эта коллекция рождалась вместе с моей дочкой. Right this moment, I am wishing that I understand Russian, but we're going to need the translator to help us. So she was saying that um, the collection, it took for her like six months to make it, because uh, it was very long for her and very difficult, because she was pregnant at the time. Yes, and she was making the collection six months. Yes. So she was she was pregnant. So it, for her, it was like a like her baby to make the collection. Oh, it felt yes, like that for you. Yes, so yeah, it, it was very special for her. It is a yeah. collection. Thank Can you, you tell us how did you think about becoming a fashion designer? How did it start for you? Как ты начала, короче? Я начинала как человек, который хочет сделать что-то для реализации своих каких-то идей, мыслей, не как коммерческий человек, но не коммерческая. Это был не коммерческий проект, это был проект именно для себя, именно для души, именно для того, чтобы выразить, так как я по образованию юрист, мне хотелось это свою другую сторону, которая более творческая, более натура, которая умеет делать что-то руками, хотелось выразить и показать свою другую сторону. So she she is saying that um, she's a lawyer in her profession, and uh, it, from the beginning it was like a hobby. So she started like a hobby, making a clothes. It was not like a commercial. She was doing it for herself. She she was trying to make herself busy to make this like. So she was she was enjoying making the collections. So she, and she stopped. She became a designer. that the Russian fashion has entered into the industry of um, fashion in general, internationally. Как How does it present itself? Um, uh, я в какой-то группе пытаюсь развиться или и прочее. То есть я не иду как какая-то группа дизайнеров, которая хочет показать какую-то линию, то есть там либо свадебную, либо вечернюю, либо там casual, либо повседневную. Я дизайнер, который идет своим путем, и если я что-то даю, я больше так сейчас пошла мода политизировать с моду. То есть, ну, политику, короче, смешивать с модой, то есть показывать свою свободу, выражать какие-то свои права и прочее, чем посредством одежды. Я против этого, я считаю, что мода – это в первую очередь что-то вне, вне чьих-либо интересов, это в первую очередь это умение преподнести что-то 
светлое, что-то приятное человеку. И почему именно я работаю в том русле, как, почему это именно мейджик, почему это э, сказочно, воздушно. Я хочу, чтобы люди ассоциировали моду с чем-то приятным, с чем-то вневременным, нежели чем с какими-то процессами. То есть э, я не говорю моды о каких-то политических процессах. Я говорю моды только то, что э, можно лицезреть все красивое, все доброе, все светлое. То есть я несу именно что-то светлое, красивое, фантастическое, сказочное, но ни в коем случае не политическое и не э, какие-то свои мысли, связанные с какими-то жизненными процессами. I'll be shortly, so she's trying to say that she is making through her collection something like a magical, easy going. So she's not trying to make it like other brands uh, through the so like through the poli political problems. So she she's, she's making more light and more magic. So she's trying to. This I won't say the, with my collection uh, what. Fashion, this magic. Fashion, this what said my soul. Uh, what I want to say the, in my sure. dreams. It will, and I want people look at my collection and uh, have uh, good, um, good, light uh, dreams. But not the political um, line. I don't say it about uh, with my collection what uh, protest uh, or um, or ignore or any. I feel like you're, with yes. your fashion you're trying to say a story. It's like you're trying to tell people How to be feels. more creative and yes. to be yes, imaginative. Yes, yes. Yes. It's like you're tapping into your inner child, that magic still exists yes, yes, to yes. enjoy ourselves. I think that's the beauty of it. And you know what? It, it's, it comes through with the collection yes. as I saw it. You're speaking a very nice magical story. Yes, yes. Where do you see yourself in five years with your, with your art and with your designs? Mm. I'm, uh, я, не, я никогда не строю планы на будущее. Только Всевышний может uh, like, uh, 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 I'm not, not, so she's not, not making any plans for yeah, I don't have plans. Fair enough. Right now, yes. do you have any plans for creating designs beyond fashion? Maybe accessories, makeup? Yes, yes. If I'm, uh, если я завтра захочу сделать что-то, uh, то есть, допустим, если я захочу сделать обувь, то я буду делать обувь. Если yeah. я захочу сделать аксессуары, то я буду делать аксессуары. То есть я себя не ставлю в рамки. So she's not making any like orders. She's saying that. If one day I want to make uh, accessories or shoes, I will make it. So. Uh, то, что захочет uh, моя душа, то, что захочет мои мысли, то есть я не, uh, не буду размышлять коммерчески, я буду размышлять именно интуи интуитивно. So what about her intuition is saying she is going to make it, like uh, shoes, accessories, something, something new, not only dress, right? Uh, no, 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 не только платье, не только платье. Technology is helping. Do you feel that technology is helping? Yes, yes. Technology in the fashion is in the fashion. In this moment, technology is the first, if not the first, if the first is the talent, then the second is the media. Because if there is talent and the media doesn't support it, then как сказать, нету смысла этого всего, потому что сейчас все крутится вокруг медиа, потому что медиа это как а, негласная правящая рука.
it feels like we can reach more people. Yeah, more people. A so lot people, more people, people can easily. see your collection. Yes. More people can see now, especially now you have lots of social network like Instagram, Facebook. Well, so need... through through this, you like you благодаря get more. Благодаря им, yeah. благодаря им, я стала дизайнером. Like. Почему? Потому что я не, то есть я не начинала как коммерческий дизайнер, который кому-то там проплатил и что-то. Меня медиа подняли сами. То есть yes. я пошла по волне. Only mass media make her like to go like forward. Yes. To come to Dubai, to go more like to go for other countries to make a fashion show. Because from the beginning she was trying to make only small collections, like only for herself, and for, only because she got like lots of uh, inquiries. People started to ask, people started to ask her to make dresses for wedding, for evening Absolutely. dresses. Then she started to do it more and more. So that's how she became Thank you. who she is. You know? Oh, we're very happy to have you. And I'm sure everyone's very happy for you to share this beautiful collection with them. Fashion era, a fashion time. Which is your favorite? Какая твоя любимая эра в моде? You can go back as long as you need. Yeah. Даже самого начала поэт. Какая твоя любимая самая пара? I love the way she's thinking. She's like, that's a question that you're doing. I'm like, Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. I think what the. Я считаю, что вообще в принципе мода, как она существует, она начинала, она началась с Coco Chanel. She is saying that uh, the fashion fashion world started only from like since Coco Chanel started to make her clothes. So she is my favorite. Uh, my favorite is this Elisa. Uh, this for me. Um, It's like inspiration for her. This my favorite designer. Uh, not only, not Elisa, only, yes. not only in designer and uh, when uh, and how uh, people and как и как человек тоже, то есть как он себя ведет с конкурент, ну с конкурентами, как он social respecting as a designer, how he respects other other brands and other brand so political. Uh, Elisa, I'm like very like because. Но он он единственный кто, ну как сказать, единственный кто красиво ведет политику вот этот бренда своего бренда. So she's not, she's not, he's not trying to compete with others brands. So she she likes him, like he inspires her as a designer. Yes. Is there any similarity you feel between um, your designs and things that come from Elisa? And this should be похоже с ним. Because you know when we love something sometimes so much, yes, uh, it yes. affects us in a way. Yes, of course. I'm like Balenciaga, I'm like... Uh, yeah, I'm like, like, yes, 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 But like the Elisa is like her favorite, so he like inspires her more than uh, other brands. It's beautiful, you know. He is actually one of my favorite designers as well. I feel very proud to be Lebanese and knowing that he's Lebanese. So Lebanon, Dubai, Russia, every every all the countries are coming together with the love of fashion and through social media. And I want to take a picture using our social media and have a selfie sure. with you. Is that sure. okay? Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna take it from here. Yeah. It has been absolutely wonderful having a chat with you. Your collection is fabulous. Thanks. You're a wonderful person, both of you. And I understand that this dress is also one of your beautiful yeah, collections. Yeah, it's actually so dress. I think I, love I think it. it's my it favorite dress. Yeah. It's actually one of the favorites. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.